And welcome back. It's another video review you can use. It is for DX9s, uh, their little pocket war and pocket seekers. Uh, these are obviously the cone heads here. And we've got X30 Rash Collider, X31 Gallower, and X32 Noisy Bragger. Now, obviously, Rash Collider is Ramjet, Gallower is Dirge, and for some reason, Thrust is Noisy Bragger. Like the other two names, I these two names, I kind of get how they fit. With their names, I'm not sure how Ramjet is Noisy Bragger, or not Ramjet, Thrust is Noisy Bragger, but hey. So yeah, they're little warm pockets. And you can see they're kind of sitting at a slight angle because the, the way the arms fold up, you can see one arm's here and one arm's folded up with what is clearly intended to look like a landing gear here. Like this hand can flip, you'll see this hand is pinned and folds up into the cockpit. This hand is fixed in place. You can actually um, pop it off for some reason but I can't find anywhere else to stick it. <laughs> so I don't think that's intentional. But uh, this does look like a wheel, and then this is the only way this all really fits in here. Uh, I, I do find if you flip the feet down a little bit to support it, you can have them sit more level on the ground versus tilting up. And a lot of pictures I've seen try to hide it, but all the pictures I've seen also seem to show them tilting a little bit like this, like slightly angled because of that wheel. So if there is a fix for it, uh, maybe it will come with the instructions, but for right now, that's that's how they sit. Which really doesn't look too bad. They're just kind of angled a little bit more. Uh, but you can see the little jets, and they're pretty decent representations of the jets with their little weapons under here. And aside from the different wings, they all follow the same basic transformation. You can see their faces there underneath the nose cones. And I'm pretty sure there's a hinge here that doesn't work for the cone heads, and I'm pretty sure that's because on the... Uh, the regular Seekers, the head does fold down under here somewhere, but maybe I'm wrong on that. I haven't had a chance to mess with those. Just a guess on why this hinge is here that serves no other purpose, because these heads don't flip down. Anyway, we'll go ahead and transform Rash Collider first, and you go ahead and pop his missiles off. And you unpin this little the legs hit down here, and it helps to go ahead and flip this piece right now. Because if the arm, once the shoulders come down, this piece, you know, the extensions will hit the shoulders. So it's easier to go ahead and flip that piece. This arm comes, you open it up like this. This arm, like I said, comes out, and you can see how that fist is folded up and slides into a like an empty slot here in the cockpit, right there. We take the. Uh, these little bits right here, you unclip them and flip them back. And like this is my one area of concern because. They do clip in and they can be a little bit of a pain and this one's already showing like all of them to some degree are showing some stress marks right here where the tab meets the uh the vent so just do be careful with that now, none of them have broken none of them look like they're even close to breaking but they are showing those stress marks which is never something you want to see and you do want to be careful with but you flip these back and once that's done actually you kind of need to get this halfway done to flip these all the way back and then allow the the shoulders to flip out to the side here and then you can lift this arm up flip it out to the other side and rotate it around at the elbow joint so the hands facing the proper way bring this one down flip out the fist on this side at which point this piece rotates around and collapses down into the chest go ahead and snap these back into place here and then fold this panel up rotate their head around here so it's facing forward, flip the feet down onto the, the jet engine there, and there is a ball joint there, so you get some front to back and side to side ankle tilt, which will show off. Then these shin panels, the whole legs don't extend, but just the shin panel, you can see hinges down into the proper position once the feet are folded down, and then you can fold the wings back if you wish. And these, the first time you're doing these, it's a little rough, but uh, you put the arm cannons on the side of the arm. Like I said, it takes a little doing because the, there we go, because the roundedness of these and it's hard, but like once you get it in, it'll, it'll go in pretty easily. And there's Rash Collider as a robot. And the other two are pretty much exactly the same. 
and that you just take this I just like that you take the missiles off the wings flip this around at least halfway so you can get it out of the way and again and it's and it's always for some reason on the one if it's facing you on the right uh, but uh, the robot's left shoulder, like I said, on all of them, this side seems to be okay, but this this little nacelle on the right, or vent on the right, uh, really, is, it's the one with the stress mark here. On all of them, like, it's always it's always this one that has the stress mark, not this side. So just something to be aware of. If you do that, flip the arms out. Oh, see, again, that hand comes off. Then flip this the rest of the way up, flip the... Parts back and around. Rotate this around and collapse. You can see the ball joint it collapses on up in there. Rotate it around. Bring it down. Turn his head around. And you can turn the head around before you fold it down. It's up to you. I think it probably is a little easier that way. And you're not reaching between these things. Bring his legs down. Arm around at the ball joint. Flip this fist down. Split his legs. These, uh, these don't really rotate, these are screwed on, so that's where they're at. Put these down, put these down. Pull the panels down onto the shin. You can leave these flipped down if you'd rather have his wings down here, but I think they look better on him flipped up. And plug in the these are a little easier because they're not super round so you can get a you can get a better you can better grip that doesn't rotate in your fingers to push them in on the, on the side of the arms but uh, still takes a little doing once you get everything going and there is noisy bragger in robot mode And last week, Galloway, oh, we fell over. We'll fix you in a minute. Pop those off, and it's the same thing. Now, him, it's really it's really kind of a crapshoot if you want to flip these or not, because if you, if you leave it there, or if you flip it around to there, these little short pieces aren't super uh, off from where they started from. So it's really up to you if you want to flip it. You can leave this down, although you will have kind of a skirt in the back behind the legs. And again, you flip this out. And again, over here, this side is fine. This side has the stress mark. So I'm not sure if it's just something about this side mold or what, but this side always seems to be the one with the stress mark here. Pick them up. Rotate his hand around. Flip his hand out. And again, you can go ahead and rotate his head around. Rotate this piece around and then collapse the whole thing down. Snap these back into place. Fold that back up. If you if you flip this, go ahead and push that up against his back. His wings do flip back at the hinge, although you can. If you want to leave them sticking straight out to the side, you can. Although, like, these are quite, like, uh, Rash Collider, I think, you can leave his wings out to the side and it would look okay. His look a little wide, but however you want to do it. And again, bring the panels down onto the shins. plug in the arm weapons. Just like that. He stands a little better because of those wings flipping back. That may be why uh, Noisy Bragger has fallen down over there because uh, he's the only one that doesn't have some wings that can tilt back to kind of help support and balance out the weight. Yeah, there's this. There's the trio of them. I'm look. I'm really looking forward. I'm hoping I get a set of the regular seekers because uh, those are the ones I'm really looking forward to. All these are a pretty nice set uh, by themselves. I, I do like the Warren Pocket Line and the uh, Iron Factories set of smaller scale guys. Like I've, I know I've mentioned that in all the reviews, but for people who haven't watched all of them, I love this scale of figures. It's because it's they're generally some pretty neat transformations. They're generally pretty decent 
in both modes. Uh, maybe some sacrifices to alt mode, but like they're fun little robots, and they're, they're, their size allows you to fit a whole lot more of them on a shelf. So it may not be a, a huge, impressive display, but you can make it an, an, an equally impressive display just smaller on a smaller uh, shelf. So that's something to consider. They all have the same basic posability. The head rotates and is on a ball joint. Or, or I can't tell if it's actually on a ball joint or if it's just that hinge that gives them just a little bit of head movement back and forth. Um, and I think it is just that hinge. But you can see that hinge doesn't actually function past about there. But you can rotate his head side to side. Uh, they got ball joint shoulders. As well as that hinge, although that's mostly blocked by these vents. Ball joint elbows. Now uh, the wrists don't swivel. Like I said, this one folds up for transformation, but the wrists are static. No waist swivel because of the way they transform, but they have ball joint hips. They do have thigh swivels. They do have hinged knees to about 90 degrees. And the foot, as I mentioned earlier, is attached to the thruster on a ball joint. So you do get some side to side as well as some front to back on the feet as well. And they, and they all have that same posability. And then thrust, he's also sitting on a non-even surface and I was just kind of bouncing it, so. But there's the three of them together, and then just to give you an idea of the scale, there they are with Combiner Wars Power Glide. So they're not deluxe sized, but they're not quite as small as a Legends class figure either, or at least a Combiner Wars Legends class figure. I was trying to look at something to compare them with, and I'm like, ah, let's keep the jet theme going. So there they are with Combiner Wars Power Glide, just to give you an idea. But like I said, they're a fun little bunch. Uh, for, the, for their size and their posability. Um, I've always been a big fan of Ramjet. I don't know, like, I've never I've never been, like, a huge, just the Coneheads fan. But, like, something about Ramjet I've always dug. Um, although I do prefer his red to be slightly more, bur a little more burgundy than that. Like, not quite thrust color, but not quite as bright red as they are here. But even then. I don't know what it is about Ramjet, but, like, if I had to pick one of the Coneheads, I'd pick Ramjet. But uh, I think they look good as a set. And they're a cool little trio. So there it is. X30 Rash Collider, X31 Gallower, and X32 Noisy Bragger from DX9.